One of the most common things twin flames will say after meeting is that they feel as though they met at the wrong time. Fate, the universe, God made some kind of mistake with the timing or the circumstances of their meeting. Now the reason so many twin flames feel this way is because very often when twin flames meet, they meet under circumstances in the physical that make it either very difficult or impossible for them to build a physical relationship in the 3D right away, or alternatively, they do begin to build that relationship and then they somehow feel as though these circumstances, the triggering perhaps between them, whatever the case may be, something seems to, in their words, sabotage this connection or prevent it from moving forward. In this podcast, I'm going to be sharing with you why twin flames so often feel as though they are meeting at the wrong time and what this actually means. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy twin flame content. By the way, thank you to all of you who are subscribed, who are part of this really beautiful, high vibrational community of twin flames we are building here and creating together. So why do twin flames feel as though they meet at the wrong time? Now, I'm using this term wrong time very broadly here because I want this idea to encompass so many different confusing feelings and and thoughts that we can have around the circumstances and timing of meeting our twin flame. So by the wrong time, this could mean that literally you feel like this is the right person, as some would say, right person, wrong time. Another way that you may define this wrong time is simply that the circumstances of your meeting make it so that you feel as though you can't build a relationship right away in the physical. You may have this profound, intense, beautiful connection that you both are highly aware of that impacts you in this really profound way, and yet you don't see a way forward to build or sustain this connection in the physical Of course, I am really emphasizing the physical there because the energetic connection with your twin has always existed, is unbreakable, is eternal. It's not something we build or create. It's something that simply exists within us. But that relationship aspect, that part of this connection we manifest, we experience in the physical world may seem very challenging, difficult, complicated, or even to the human self, to the ego thinking mind, perhaps it even seems impossible. The reason that twin flames so often meet one another in seemingly challenging or impossible circumstances is because twin flame connection, unlike many forms of love connection, unlike the kind of love that society teaches us, isn't about settling down. We've all heard people tell us that they want to settle down with someone or that we should settle down with someone. But settling is not for twin flame love or twin flame connection. The word settling brings to mind a kind of stopping, stopping in place, comfort, ease, normalcy, sameness. Twin flame connection is very much the opposite. I was meditating this morning and I channeled the idea that twin flame love is not settling, it is elevating, constant, never-ending elevation, meaning elevation of consciousness, soul growth, soul expansion. Very often our first touch point in the physical with our twin flame That first moment we encounter our twin in the physical and consciously begin to realize, to integrate the knowing of what this connection is, very often at that moment, 
that moment is strategically planned and coordinated by our higher self, our soul self, and our twin flames higher self prior to incarnating here in order to shake up our life. Now, what do I mean by shake up our life? I mean that we encounter our twin flame because at that moment of encountering them in the physical, we experience what is known as an energy merge. Now, I talk a lot about this on my channel and I may do future videos on this as well, but the shorthand version of this energy merge is that because we are either within the physical, literal space of our twin flame, experiencing an auric merge, which means our auras are merging, we are within six feet of one another, or alternatively, we meet them online in some kind of virtual way, regardless of how we encounter them in the physical. At that moment, we download all of our twin flames energetic information instantaneously. Now, we have always been exchanging energy with our twin flame, even at a distance, even prior to this first touch point meeting, but this energy merge hits us very intensely at that point of what we would call our twin flame meeting in this lifetime. Now, this energy merge is also why all twin flames experience a spiritual awakening in connection with or at some point during their twin flame journey because spiritual awakening is what we use, the term we use to refer to a sudden elevation of our consciousness through radically elevating the energy of our being. Now, of course, when we're taking in all of this energy from our twin flame, this results in a spiritual awakening process in this radical up-leveling of our energy as we receive all of this new energy into our being from our twin through the vessel of this twin flame connection. So how is this relevant to the twin flame meeting feeling so wrong or seeming to happen at the wrong time? Well, I would pose this question to you. Many of you are familiar with spiritual awakening, have had or are undergoing a spiritual awakening yourself. So how many of us experience a spiritual awakening and say to ourselves, that happened at the perfect time, it was easy, it was comfortable, it felt right? Very few of us feel this way during spiritual awakening. We feel as though it happens very suddenly, very instantaneously, very intensely. It affects us profoundly, and yes, it may transform our lives over time in very positive ways or ways we would label as positive, but in the process, it's often very painful and even on the surface can look very destructive or confusing. Now, the reason for this perceived destruction, perceived confusion is that spiritual awakening, much like twin flame connection, will cause a total deconstruction of everything in our lives and within ourselves that is not in alignment with the highest version of ourself that we are now becoming through this radical up-leveling of our energy. This isn't a destruction, it is a deconstruction of everything that was never meant for us. But many of those things that were disaligned, not aligned with our highest self, our most authentic, soulful self, many of those things are so entrenched within us, in our personality, our persona, our connections, relationships, physical reality, that even though these things are very out of alignment with our highest self, the presence of them over time becomes familiar or comfortable and uprooting these things can temporarily feel very wrong or very uncomfortable. So one reason twin flames often feel as though they meet at the wrong time is simply because through their meeting and this energy exchange happening during that meeting, they are experiencing this radical up-leveling of their energy and therefore their consciousness that is deconstructing everything in their lives that are out of alignment with their highest self. 
And through this deconstruction of so much of their life, they then feel as though everything is going wrong and they associate the going wrong with their twin flame meeting because of course that is the timing through which it happened. The ego sees this association between this person, I met this person and then my life started falling apart, the ego says. What the soul knows is I met this mirror image of my soul. I saw myself so fiercely, so clearly and so intensely. I received a massive influx of energy from this mirror soul, from my twin soul, my twin flame. And as a result of this, my consciousness began to radically raise itself. My energy began to radically raise through this meeting, through the vehicle of this twin flame connection. And that is why it feels as though my life is falling apart because in order for things to fall together, they must first fall apart in order to construct construct something new in our lives and within ourselves. We must first deconstruct everything that is already built within our lives that isn't in alignment with the person we are now becoming, which is truly our most soulful, most authentic, what we would call our highest self, the person in the physical that is now going to be most in alignment with the fifth dimension, with the energy realm, with that highest version of our self. Now, the second reason that twin flames may feel as though they meet at the wrong time is by soul design or by soul intention. As I said earlier, sometimes twin flames divinely intend on a soul level prior to incarnating here that they are going to have this point of meeting that is meant to shake up their life. Now, what do I mean by shake up their life? I mean that when you meet your twin flame again, because of this energy merging that happens, this intense amount of energy you receive from them, this kind of what we could think of as an energetic earthquake occurs in your physical 3D timeline. By timeline, I mean the current trajectory you are on in your life, the path you are on experiences this earthquake and as a result of that earthquake there is now a rift you are now on a completely different path our twin flame enters our life to cause this rift in our timeline in order to break us from old timelines patterns and paradigms and shift us powerfully into a new timeline into our highest timeline During the experience of this, it can be very uncomfortable. I will be creating a separate video today on signs you are shifting into a higher timeline or jumping timelines as some may think of this. Others even conceptualize this as shifting into a parallel reality or dimension. So very often twin flames choose to meet at this first point of meeting, not so that they can instantaneously begin to build a physical relationship in the 3D, but so that they can up-level one another from this old, outdated, previous timeline to this new, higher timeline. Then, very often, twin flames know that there will be a period of time in which they must adjust to these sudden changes to this rift in their timeline essentially they have to they have to adjust to this completely new reality that they have shifted one another into so over the course of this unfolding spiritual awakening this rift in timelines however you want to think of it however it makes sense most to you this energy has to be integrated by integrated i mean that this powerful, intense energy we are receiving from our twin flame must move through our energy body. I like to think of the energy body as being separated into the seven chakra centers, just to give us a visual here. 
So this twin flame energy must move through each of our seven chakras and break down any walls or limiting beliefs, negative belief systems, or energies that could be stored within these seven energy centers that could be preventing us from fully adjusting, shifting into this highest timeline, from fully allowing the unfolding of our spiritual awakening process and this elevation of our consciousness. Because if you think about it, if you think of twin flame energy as a powerful stream, a river of energy, if a river comes up against a wall, that wall is like a dam and that river will build immense amounts of pressure in proportion to how powerful the river is flowing twin flame energy being one of the most powerful energetic experiences we can have in this lifetime is equivalent in this metaphor to an extremely powerful river this means that often through this process of meeting our twin flame and the unfolding of our connection in the physical we can feel as though things are going wrong because that pressure we are actually feeling is the resistance of this powerful river of twin flame energy, unconditional love energy coming up against blocks we are still storing within ourself, within our energy body, preventing the complete natural effortless flow of that unconditional love energy. This also means that the key to magnetizing our twin flame into our physical existence more of the time, ultimately leading to a sustained physical reunion, is the deconstruction of these walls energetically within us that are preventing this unconditional love energy from flowing, from naturally magnetizing us and our twin flame together. I have created a seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal. This is my most comprehensive and powerful energy clearing tool for twin flames because subliminals are designed to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deep lasting impressions on the subconscious, which it's the subconscious that is directly reflected in our energy field. So when it comes to clearing away these energy blocks stored within our seven chakras in the energy body, subliminals are a powerful key to accessing and reprogramming our energy for total unconditional love, for allowing this love energy to flow by re releasing any negative blocks or limiting beliefs, preventing us from flowing this unconditional love energy that we may be storing in the subconscious and therefore in the energy field. So this powerful subliminal addresses unconscious beliefs and blocks for twin flames stored within all seven chakras. The link to this seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment in description box under this video. You can click that link and explore more information about exactly Exactly how this subliminal is designed to help you shift your energy in a powerful way and magnetize your twin flame connection. This subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. I've created subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for the manifestation of so many different material objects and goals, for chakra clearing, and of course for twin flames specifically, I have an entire section of subliminals dedicated exclusively to the twin flame path. And again, my most highly recommended twin flame subliminal, the seven chakra twin flame clearing is linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video. You can click that link and create a free trial account on my website to try out any subliminal I've created completely free. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, magical rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next podcast.